Hello, I'm Bjorn, and uh, I do movies, but today we're doing, um, we're not doing movies, we're doing cooking. Uh, this is going to work as two things. One, the first episode of Bjorn does cooking. I have a couple episodes of this coming out, although technically we're not cooking anything, we're doing mixology, aka we're making uh, drinks, uh, alcoholic beverages. All right, so anyone under 21, you, you can enjoy the video. Uh, if you thought there weren't going to be gimmicks in this one, you'd be wrong. We're going to be doing lots of gimmicky drinking stuff, lots of fun mixes and uh, you might be asking well Bjorn you're making drinks uh, why what does this have anything to do with your channel in a recent video uh, specifically the Suicide Squad 5 act 2 I uh, had a scene where the characters go into a bar uh, and Harley Quinn orders a drink uh, named after none other than Leonard Snart aka the Captain Cold uh, as well as implying that the bar had other drinks named after all the various members of the rogues well, today I will be making those drinks so y'all can taste um, what Rogue's Bar and Grill from Central City has in real life. So, who better to start with than everyone's favorite and most well-known member of the Rogue's? That's right, I'm talking about Weather Wizard. We're, we're going to do Weather Wizard first. Now, look, guys, I, I know. I, you don't have to tell me, man. I know. Weather Wizard is kind of a joke character. And he's got a really stupid name. Uh, what are his powers? Uh, he controls the weather. He's basically just the worst version of Storm from the X-Men. So when I was designing a drink for someone like, you know, Weather Wizard, I went to a couple different places. And I landed on something. Well, it's gotta, it's gotta look like it's a, it's a storm, right? So, yeah, that was a, that was it, guys. And to be entirely honest, I started with, well, it's gotta be, and then I, I ended up in a, it's gotta look like it's a storm. For today's drink, we're going to use a standard martini glass. Let's go ahead and pull out the liquid. So we want our thing to be storm colored, and I had a couple of angles I could have gone with for this. And uh, I ultimately went with uh, with uh, pink because that's the color that looks like the storm. So we're going to start with um, passion fruit liqueur that I have here. It pour just a small amount in. There we go. And uh, then we're going to pour a tiny bit amount of our Kirkow. It's just a blue liqueur. Tiny amount here. We're going to use this for two drinks today, actually. And that's going to give this a dark, sort of stormy look. Very nice. We're going to do a little bit of pineapple Malibu, which we will also use later tonight. Very nice. And as y'all can see here, we've got a very nice dark blue color going now, which, you know, looks something like a storm. And uh, lastly, we've got a tiny bit of orange juice, something like a mimosa. This is going to be a very sweet drink. And that's going to give this like a little white cloudy air that's going to mix in to our other assortment of drinks. As you can see, it's got like a sort of white look to it. We'll get a close-up shot of it. Very nice. I should just a tad bit more of this. There we go. That's the sort of color. Okay. And then a splash of lemon juice, straight lemon juice. Not a lot of this. This is very overbearing, so you want to be very limited with that. There we go. We've got a very complex martini to start this off, although this isn't even a martini at all. So, you might be thinking, well, yeah, it kind of looks like the dark, nasty color of a storm, but how is that gimmicky, Bjorn? Come on, I expected better. You guys want gimmicks? I'll give you gimmicks. For this one, we're going to need rubber gloves. The uh, pinnacle of any and all gimmick alcohol drinks that you'll find at any low-rent amusement park, I'm looking at you, Disney, is of course none other than dry ice. Alright, we got dry ice there. I'm having these gloves because if I were to touch this, man, I'm sorry. we're going to plop that right into our drink. And uh, ta-da, look, now it's a storm. Let's get a close-up. Okay, now for a little bit of a taste test. I'm not going to drink the whole thing because I'm going to make a lot of booze today. But uh, remember, if you do make this at home, uh, always make sure you sip very carefully to not touch your lips with the dry ice because, I mean, it's dry ice. It's fine. It's a little sweet for my taste, but it's got a pretty good taste to it. I will say the color is very off-putting. I would not recommend making it that color if you weren't making a gimmicky drink. But there you go, the weather wizard. Look at that. It literally makes fog. 
That's just going to continue to gurgle in the background for about another 10 minutes. So if you'll hear gurgling in the background, we're going to move on to our next gimmick. So who is the most well-known member of the rogues? Now I hear you're going to say Captain Boomerang and I'm going to be real guys. Yeah, it's, it's Captain Boomerang, but, and this is a big, but admittedly, I didn't make a Captain Boomerang because I couldn't think of a single gimmick that wouldn't be racist. <laughs> Yeah, I couldn't think of a gimmick, so we're just gonna we're gonna skip right over him and go to the second most well known member, who is of course none other than everybody's favorite, Captain Cold. So for Captain Cold, I am just gonna make it a normal shot. Uh, it's gonna be a completely reasonable, completely normal shot. Uh, we're gonna use our Kerkal again, because it's got a very nice blue color, and this time we're not gonna dilute it with a bunch of muddy, nasty looking colors. We're gonna keep it its nice pure blue. So blue, it makes you wonder how much dye they put in this thing. And as I said, we would reuse again our pineapple Malibu. Ta-da, that's it. It's super simple on this one. If you really wanted to, you could like add some other stuff, but that's not very gimmicky, is it? I mean, sure, it's his, it's his signature blue, but that's where the next gimmick comes in. Y'all thought I wouldn't have an over-the-top gimmick. Please. Look at that. That is a shot glass made entirely of ice. If that's not gimmicky, then I don't know what is. Cheers. Actually, that's, that is not bad at all. I, I won't lie. I thought that would be terrible, but that is strong, but not bad. All right, let's do a money shot on that. Well, in the time it melted through. <laughs> it melted a hole right through the bottom. That's a problem. That is in fact a problem. Let's pour another one. I think we all learned a very important lesson there. Something, something, Icarus flying too close to the sun. Something, something, gimmick overload. Uh, what happened there is called try the experiment before you record it. Uh, yeah, it melted a hole through all three of my frozen uh, shot glasses. I think I have to kind of freeze the, uh, the, the drink in the inside or, or put it over ice before I pour it into the ice bath or the ice glass because it was too hot and melted right through the ice. So... Um, yeah, so if you guys do it at home, make sure you put your drink on ice before you put it into the, uh, to the gimmicky shot glass. Uh, lesson learned, all right? But that's the Captain Cold. So far, in my opinion, the best tasting of the bunch. So, let's move on to the next. Who do we have next? We're doing Mirror Master. Uh, I have a fond place for this guy in my heart. Uh, you'll, we'll probably find out sooner rather than later that I am very fond of Mirror Master and, uh, have some connections to him. So, we're gonna make a Mirror Master. <laughs> So, uh, Mirror Master is tricky because, like, you know, what, what, what the fuck is a Mirror Master going to do? Like, what is, that, what is that drink even like? So, I came up with something kind of sweet, and uh, the main focal point of the gimmick is going to be a gigantic ball of reflective ice in the center uh, here. Something like you would see with, like, you know, cocktail lounge drinks like scotches and whatnot so there we go except i, I don't like scotch so we're gonna do butterscotch instead hey oh uh, i've got butterscotch schnapps pour just a tiny bit of this in here very nice and uh well that wouldn't be quite gimmicky enough so i've got two more ingredients to add number th the first thing we've got here is triple sec triple sec is like an orange liqueur so we're gonna do orange butterscotch that might be a little weird but you know mere master is all about duality you know uh butterscotch orange the duality of man so we're gonna go put ahead a little bit of this in here i've not tried this before guys so if this is disgusting you're gonna you're gonna see it live here but we've got one final ingredient to really pull this thing together or not all right and our last ingredient Cream soda. Um, now this recipe is going to be very similar to something you would see like uh, butter beer from Harry Potter world basically, except with the orange triple sec in here. Um, so this makes for a very unusual drink. Let's go ahead and stir it up. And 
And let's do a little bit of a taste test here. I, you know, honestly, it's very sweet. Probably a little less cream soda to the rest ratio, but that is actually, that's actually the best thing so far, I would say. It's not bad. I might add, we're mixing it up a lot, people. I'm gonna add a little more orange triple sec because uh, it wasn't boozy enough and it needs a little more of that orange flavor. Mix that up. And now that is bizarrely good. There you go. The Mirror Master, a bizarrely okay drink. Let's do a money shot. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I think this is actually the best thing I've made so far. I actually really like this. I would actually drink this. Like, any of these other ones, I don't think I would actually drink them. I'm gonna be entirely honest with y'all, but this, I would actually drink this. This is actually not bad. Let me keep this one over here. I'm gonna sip on this as I work. So, uh, let's go ahead and jump to the next one. Okay, so this next one is a little bit dangerous. <laughs> I won't lie. Uh, this is the, the king gimmick. <laughs> Wish me luck, y'all. So what we're going to need here is a liqueur called 43. And the reason I need this is because it's extremely flammable. Um, that's right, people. We're doing the heat wave. <laughs> now, y'all might have seen gimmicky chefs do this sort of thing with uh, drinks at, like, actual bars. Uh, here's the thing. I'm not that. I've seen my dad do this before a couple times. I've never tried this. So y'all are going to see it here first. If I engulf myself in fire and die, it'll be fucking hilarious and we'll have it on video. So there we go. It's exactly how I want it. So uh, we got a regular glass here. Uh, this is actually not where we're pouring our drink. This is going to have an ice cube in it. I got another big ice ball. And this is very important. You need this here because this is what's going to quench our fire. So uh, let me get our actual proper drinking glass for this. Uh, we're going to use the stem glass, glass with the stem. Pour a tiny amount of triple sec here. Sort of work it along the edges. <laughs> here we go, boys. And then get your lighter. Kinda, I'm kinda getting trouble, having trouble getting this thing to light. There we go, I don't know if y'all can see it, but it is in fact on fire. So now we raise, yep, it is burning. So now we raise our glass here. Okay, I think we can do that again, but with a little more, we're gonna try it with a little more booze. So that, that didn't kill me. I didn't engulf myself in fire, and I even did the fire pour. So we're gonna do this next one on a close-up. So I'm gonna cut up to a close-up of me engulfing my whole body in fire. So uh, enjoy that. And uh, before I do that close-up though, let me show y'all here. This is our drink. To top it off, we're gonna add a tiny, tiny amount of Fireball. This isn't gonna make it taste any better. In fact, I hate Fireball, and this is definitely gonna make it taste worse. This is because the name Fireball is so gimmicky, I have to do this, guys. So we're just gonna add a literal, tiny little splash. Oh, God, it's gonna be... I don't. I already don't really like this kind of booze. So let's do our close-up. All right, here we go. We're gonna try to... Okay, that's officially engulfed. I don't know if y'all can really see that, but there is fire burning on the inside there. And our fire goes out. And uh, the inside of the glass is still burning. All right. Cheers. <laughs> Fuck. That is 99% fireball, <laughs> which I hate. 
<laughs> Do not add that splash of fireball, guys. I flew too close to the sun. I was Icarus all over again. Um, yeah, don't add that splash of fireball. Okay. So, on to our last member of the rogues I'm making a drink for today. Sorry, I'm just taking a nice refreshing mirror master to get the taste of the, uh, of the fireball out of my mouth. People who drink fireball are actually psychopaths. You heard it from me here, folks. So, who is our last member? <laughs> it's Rainbow Raider. <laughs> Woo! We all like Rainbow Raider here. And uh, you know what that means. We need every color of the rainbow in, in one vile, disgusting glass. And that's exactly what you're going to get today. So here we go. I've got our McTeedy glass we just washed. And... Uh, Let's go ahead and start with more of the blue stuff. So here's our first color of the rainbow. Blue! Woo-hoo! Yeah, baby! Let's add some blue in here. <laughs> this is going to be... I want y'all to know at home, this is going to be disgusting. Whatever it is I'm concocting here. It's going to be gross. Next, we've got purple with our... Uh, Passion fruit coming back into the fold. It's going to look just like the weather wizard. <laughs> All right, what's next? For our yellow, we've got pineapple. <laughs> it's going to be just like the weather wizard until it isn't. Because we still got green and red. <laughs> All right, next we've got uh, grenadine syrup. It's like a cherry syrup. Uh, this is our red. Put it in. Now, you might be wondering, Bjorn, where in the earth are you going to get green? <laughs> please. Please. I've got the nectar of the gods, and it's going into our drink. That's right, folks. Our last ingredient is none other than Mountain Dew Baja Blast, which does have kind of a greenish blue color. So, whatever, we're using it. We're going to pour a tiny bit of that into our vile looking concoction, which has turned a sickly brown, borderline Coca Cola color. But you can kind of see some blue and some red and some green in there. So, that's our Rainbow Raider. Every color of the rainbow represented. So, let's go ahead and I get a close up shot on that. All right, I decided it wasn't gimmicky enough, so I added uh, some dry ice to it. There we go. The Rainbow Raider, people. Let's do a taste test. Yeah, the smoke on the top represents the white of the rainbow, I guess. I don't know, man. You, 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 I, I'm the one making the gimmicks, all right? Y'all can't, can't question them. I mean, honestly... It's still better than the Weather Wizard. Somehow adding more bullshit to it made it slightly less terrible. But it's uh, it's still not ideal, is it? <laughs> I really should have just looked up drink recipes instead of just ham-fistedly making my own. There's really one flavor in there that's kind of not great. I don't know what that is. It's probably the blue shit. I think the blue shit has been the common denominator in all the gross ones. So, uh, there we go. Um, this has been uh, the first episode of Cooking with Bjorn. And uh, as I said, it serves as a teaser. Um, a, that I'm going to do more cooking videos going forward. And that uh, coming up very soon, in the next couple of days, I will be releasing the finale to all of my Suicide Squad writing projects. So, if you're a fan of those, get excited. If you want to try any of these recipes, I... Don't know why you would, except for the Mirror Master. This one is delightful. Uh, in the description, I have full links. Remember, don't drink unless you're 21 or over, unless it's really cool, guys, and your friends are really pressuring you into doing it. Then it's okay, all right? And <laughs> that's a joke for, for the record. That is a joke. Uh, also, don't drink and drive. Uh, it's not cool, guys. Don't do it, all right? I will be upset. Dude, fuck, that is so good. Why is the Mirror Master so good?